Hey guys, what's going on it is me, Nico, CEO of Center Valley Brickworks LLC, here with another Battle of Mambara update. And I want to go ahead and start off by saying that this update is way, way, way overdue. Um, long story short, guys, didn't have the correct lighting to film this update when I wanted to. Now, though, we have these wonderful, wonderful, wonderful studio lighting set. This wonderful studio lighting lamps from Limo Studio. Very, very pleased with the quality of these lights. And not to mention, got them for under 40 bucks. That's with shipping included. So very, very happy that I ended up receiving those. But now, so now with the lighting we have, we can show you guys all of the cool things that we've been doing with the mock so far. Now I'm gonna head go ahead and give you guys a quick run through because we are a little bit short on time and not to mention this is an update so I don't want to spoil you guys on everything. So on this back half here you'll go ahead and see the battlefield is essentially done. You'll see a lot of the clone troopers who were the more known clone troopers from the Battle of Umbara in the mock. We have all of them now so yes for, the, for all of you for all of you 501st and Hardcore Star Wars Fanatics, we have all of them. Apo, Jesse, Rex, Fives, Tup, Kicks, all of them, guys. And, you know, of course there's a few more, but we do have all of them. And, uh, of course, you guys will see all of them in the coming uh, final mock video. But we have all of the ATRGs in position correctly. The Vixis is now finished. So, very, very happy with that. This is a little model designed by our own landscape division leader Adam Rios and he took his good old sweet time designing this on LDD and uh, you know I had to take my time to go ahead and acquire the parts to make it. So this thing is a really really nice piece here and the, of course the mouth actually does move so you can put your trooper in and in that case Jar Jar. But um, that's not how Jar Jar is going to officially be dying in this mock. For those of you who don't know why Jar Jar is dying Jar Jar, in the opinion of pretty much all of the members of this company, he's the most useless character in the Star Wars universe. So in every mock that we are going to be doing that is Star Wars related, we're going to have him dying in some horrible way. Um, so we're going to try to keep it PG for our younger viewers, but, you know, for the most part, nobody likes Jar Jar. Here, you see the front half of the Centipede tank kit. And we don't have the entire kit, guys. That's why those t three clunks of... 2x4 bricks are back there. Those are place marking where sections of the tank are going to be going. But we do have a good majority of it done. You see two sections there, and then you see about six, actually seven sections back here. We're missing about three sections, and this is the prototype, guys. But you, So you will be seeing an official breakdown of the final version of this kit on the site uh, YouTube page. And the website, of course, when it goes up for sale. You also see this wonderfully made bunker, which is going to be our little piece that is going to be the centerpiece for our battle pack, which is going to include about three or four Embarn figures. We're still unclear about the numbers on that. Of course, we got the clone troopers still in the same formation, for the most part. A lot of them dead. A couple of unique Brick Force edition, uh, Brick Forge editions, including that wonderful Brick Forge mohawk there. And if we move over here to the side, guys, I'm probably gonna have to cut this video, uh, this section of the video short. Right, so guys, I can get now with the camera off the tripod, we're going to go ahead and give you guys a full view of some of the things you guys missed while the camera was on the tripod. Another view of the centipede tank, or at least the first section of it, and the Vixis here. We have the section of landscape that's going to be carved out from the centipede tank crashing. Have the placeholders there, Cra uh, crash ATRT there. We have a couple of Umbarans taking a clone trooper hostage, and they're going around the wreckage here. A couple of dead Umbarans there, along with a uh, fallen uh, tentacle. That tentacle was made by me. I made a lot of the unique Umbaran tentacles that are not just dinosaur tails with a trans red cone on top of them. That's essentially what is the trees for this mock. So. Here we have a nice little mound with a lot of flex seal in it. We had a failed concept that we wanted to try and it didn't exactly pan out. Here is the third set that's going to be part of our uh, first product release coming up in December here. 
don't worry guys, you'll be able to get these before Christmas. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get them to you uh, around Black Friday, but it's alright. Um, you guys will see a full review of that set here in a moment. Now, it's coming out of the vehicle bunker. This is the infantry bunker. Now, you guys did not see the full progress of this in the last two updates, but we wanted to add something unique and new for those of you who didn't, uh, didn't know that these were actually not part of the battle as a whole. We wanted to add a unique feature that only we want uh, only you could find from us so here is a wonderful 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 cliff, uh, cliff rocks uh, rock work here and I personally had no uh, no help in the building of this uh, of this rock work whatsoever this was made by three of my other members of my company and I was really really pleased with all the work and we still have a good section of it to be done we're missing this section of it here which is still interior brick from the bunker. We're also missing a little bit of that section there, but don't worry, we'll get it. But the rock work that um, the landscape division leader did on this particular mound is fantastic, guys, and it's very, very sturdy. Here we have the interior of the vehicle bunker, which was done mostly by me. The generator was not, but most of it was done by me. Um, second floor is still yet to be made. Half of it's going to be a, mech, uh, a med bay and a armory. So that's that half. Now we're gonna look at the interior of the infantry bunker. There's the second floor. You can see the wonderful, wonderful E-like, uh, E-light, um, basic uh, lighting kit. You guys will have links to that in the description. Most of this bunker will not be changed and you'll see that wonderful chef right back there. Ho oh, ho, yes. So that is pretty much all we have left to show you guys. Stay tuned for the possibly one more update and or the final mock video.